Fala galera, tranquilo? Estou aqui no início do vídeo para convidar todos vocês para participar da nossa comunidade Aleartes, um grupo relacionado especialmente para CSGO. Vamos trocar bastante ideia sobre o jogo, sorteios, lobbies, mix com a galera e outras novidades exclusivas para todos que estiveram no grupo. Então não perde tempo, é de graça e infelizmente as vagas são limitadas. Link vai estar na descrição do vídeo, basta descer a tela aí e entrar, fechou? Vejo todos vocês lá, é nóis guys! Next runs in and runs out again. Now is that some kind of bait, Piku? Looking to catch Lato, really needed to land a headshot there. That is going to be regrettable if things don't go their way on this A bomb site. Flame spots them now moving in. Cold Zero is the first one to get dropped for Onation. Lato is coming in for the flank, but Dexter seems to be aware of this, and he is easily dealt with by the Jewelies. A good spam with those Jewelies can be pretty damn decent if you. And spam away with them. And now Nico able to stop the T aggression. They're trying to take some map control for the post plant, but it hasn't paid off for them. It is clean. It is, you know, a hard position to hold as the stand in. So we'll see if he's up to the challenge. Very important area of the map. Right now, though, just a default from Double O Nation and NQZ able to find an opening pick. Five on three Ooh. then. Okay. He'll take two. Yeah. They've got time to play with, and uh, that time has allowed them to yield another frag. Three on five then. Zoji look to keep a clean sheet here. How do they respond to this? The B-bomb site's been abandoned. Flames make... It's just hard. It's a hard life out here. I've always gone double O nation. Dexter towards B has a smoke which he could deploy. That's, this would be a great time to do it. He has done exactly that and the execute has been caught. They've waited Ooh. too long. The lack of presence has allowed Flames to take liberties with them. And before they can even finish their execute into the site, it is time to save. You have to wonder if the lack of IGL can be problematic in a situation such as that. Dumal suddenly saving. Oh, after time, they want him. Okay, he peeks into that. Probably a good decision. We will note. Now, how many frags is Neo frag good for? Oh, could have been two there. He really needed to. Peeking into them, though, there was a chance. But now what? Now what do the rest of the squad do? We can see they're posted up very aggressively around the B bomb site. Ooh. Zero Nation not really in position to to understand this just yet. They've got no lurkers towards A. Unless they send Dumal on an investigation, but they've only got 32 seconds left. Oh, the aggression not well timed this time. I think Fiku was looking towards mid, but they might not expect Nico here in this corner. Bomb drop, 20 seconds, they have to trade, but Nico unloads, and Dumao is nowhere near the action. Just that one spray is enough to change the round in OG's favor. Teams will certainly help, and now you can focus on one site and one site only. Lato pops up, and that's a frag that they cannot respond to. A smoke creates some space, it's he's walled in croak, but Flames is still here with a second through the smoke. Dream is collapsing for Zero Nation on this A bomb site. NQZ and Cold Zero remain. Nico's been popped, but there's another smoke, and that'll cause some problems. The bomb needs to be rescued as well. It's pretty much committed to this bomb site. So they're going to have to frag out. AWP still lurking for both squads, and now it's not lurking for one. Cold Zero finds himself in the clutch, getting tagged by Flames, but did Flames hear that? Not so sure if he did. Waiting for the 1v1. He's got 30 seconds cold, but. Things will only get more difficult. Waiting for that peek from Flames, but he's focused on long. The AWP's posted up now. He understands. If he finds someone on the left, he's going to have to look to the right immediately. But Flames is patient. And there's the frag. Pay from attention to, but will he be checking for this box? I hope Neo Frag is paying attention to it. Dumal stuck now, and there is the trade from Flames. But Next is here at the right place at the right. The AWP can maybe post up afterwards onto the site, then as they try to clear it, that molly is perfect to allow the bomb plant. Not much Nico can do about it. Down goes next now. Nico's luck will be punished. Two remaining. NQZ will lose his angle with the AWP, but Nexa doesn't know where Lotto is. Lato, excuse me. 
One versus two. He has a kit, but has no idea. Well, appears right in front of him. He's able Punish to get his way up in towards a cheetah position. Meanwhile, Viku swinging himself. No nades against him. Next is pushing so deep in. Viku puts a flash up, but next hits the headshot while blind. This would be a huge round to win for Zero Nation. It would be Nico Town for OG. This is this could be where they turn things around if they can finish off the job here. Two remaining versus the three of OG. And we can hear that rotation. Nico knows and the CTs might even get there first. It's gonna be a close one. Neofrag has the angle on Dumao and then it was NQZ. Ugh. Doesn't make it to the bomb site after one minute all. on the clock and they're looking to play it slow again, but that could become a problem for them once more as Neofrag lurks in mid. Next was waiting, but he wasn't ready to win the duel. It's given Zero Nation a way in. Flames jiggling as much as he can, but just as he throws the flashbang, down he goes. Man advantage in for Zero Zero Nation, all in the donuts. Thanks to Nico. Don't have all the money in the world here. They do have diffuse kits. They don't have any way to cut off this choke point of donuts. So what is Nico up to here? If you're going for a cheeky late one, I would imagine these guys could... Just hang out and donut for a while. Indeed, they are just around the corner, so that's not going to work for him. Proves to be very expensive indeed. Dexter runs forward and loses the AWP as well. Towards the, uh, the earlier stages. Now, sometimes they are getting in towards mid and making life awkward. Wow, this is such an early commitment. Only two T's here, but the trade means OG are a little concerned right now. Still Fiku ready for this fight on the other side of the map. Aggression from OG, 30 seconds, and Viku wants the info. This one is still yet to be recovered. Finally, NQZ picks it up, but he has to go B with the bomb. Cold will look to fake out A, but I don't know if OG are fully going to fall for this. Oh, maybe they will. Fiku's tucked into cave. Cold still selling the fake, but the problem is, as soon as the bomb plant is attempted, Fiku is ready. That is the round over. And I, I felt like in that 3v3, I, I was seeing cold lurk for so long. That is about to change. The mid control has been established. You can see the response from OG. 28 seconds. They're going to rotate players back to A. It's Flames and Dexter here. The two big hitters for OG. And Flames looking to adjust. It's Dexter who dropped the bomb, and he's got a clear line of sight towards it. Finally, that smoke goes up, so he has to reposition, and that bomb should finally be planted with Dumao getting a nice kill from up top. Hiku sending it, eating the flashbang, and that gives the man advantage then to 0 0 Nation. Looking for a fifth round at halftime, but the numbers are even in terms of the personnel, but only for a brief moment. 1v1 now, Dumao and Nico. No grenades for Nico. Are there any on the site? Does he hold the fuse? He's going for it. I don't think Dumao's got the angle to pick this properly. There goes the pistol then, but he will land the headshot with the Galil to take a fifth round as Utility we Utility head... early from OG as they will take Ooh. that control and take the opening pick. Clean as hell from Dexter with the P250. That's one of two P250s. Double raid boss for OG on the T side of Ancient. And oh, can't save his teammate. Nico's just too fast, <laughs> forcing their way through the flames and getting their kill. Pistol is being brutal for some. Look at these tight shots from Neo Frag for both headshots. It might work again. In they go. Flying Mac 10, but Dumao is really trying hard. And Lato oh. is here once more to do the same as before. Next with the USP. Awkward for Fiku as well. He can't abandon this side. There are so many guns there, but he's making the right play. Wow! The ding and the dong from next. Looking to swing on the mid player. Dumel will have to be careful. No, nope, they go popping back, and Lato could be in trouble here. Through the molly, there you go. And Lato has been lost. One CT now on the ramp. In a very awkward position indeed. Bomb not planted, oh. though. Fiku through the smoke. <laughs> what in the blazes was that? It's just a casual one, Deke. Oh, <laughs> now Neofrag pushing his smoke gets a crazy kill. Hang on. Do they hear this? No, back turned, do mouth man. And now Fiku tries to reposition again. Does Cold think he's respected that smoke? He's got to hold that. Oh no, the angles! Didn't check the ramp properly. 
and that's also weird. There's a big execute into the B bomb site, and it's been uncontested so far. But Piku doesn't have the angle. Oh, this could be a bait here. Next will trade, and there is a trade straight back from Neofrag, who finds himself alone on the bomb site now. That bomb is planted. That's a massive headshot from Nico. What did the remainder choose to do? Wondering about the mid position, but they will have to ask them later. Oh, for now, do Mao somehow able to win that early fight didn't look comfortable but it works yeah, out that looks quite challenging indeed but he was able to deliver that's a strong start to this round from zero zero nation have a look at this play down b now neofrag has a lot of people coming his way but as we can see he's holding down two jobs big swing from the mp9 and that will be enough not satisfied with the one frag, though. Probably wait for his teammates to take contact if he can, but with that boosted player, Holt should see him soon. Oh no, it goes the other way! Flame spots him, and now this round could be on the cards for OG. They enter the A bomb site. Dexter biding his time here, not falling for the shoulder bait until he can land the shot. And Viku will get the bomb down, but Lato punishes. As soon as he switches away, he gets taken out and Dexter in an uncomfortable position right now. This is so awkward. He needs his teammate to help him. Flames has delivered alongside Dexter. Oh, gee. Let's see if Zero Zero Nation can turn it round. Oh, oh, missing that jump up. And Dumao again winning that fight towards mid. Molly in Lato, not ready for Neofrag to swing so quickly. Instantly brought back to even numbers. It's a hell of a flashbang, but Cold Zero will still deliver the much-needed frag. Cold Zero now dropped on the A bomb site at the hands of Dexter, who is carrying the bomb. So, Zero Zero Nation have seen the bomb at the mouth of the A bomb site, and is slowly starting to move in that direction. 45 seconds on the clock, and they're still spread out as they try to not not lose the entire map. Dumal swings alone. Dexter will drop him as well. Bomb no longer in his hands, though. Where is that bomb? Have, they have to ask the question. Flanks coming in from Neofrag now. 28 seconds. You can see next in CT spawn. Soon he will be gone as well. Oh, boy. And NQZ might arrive in time, but there's difficulties for him if he wants to win this because the bomb can be planted on the far side. Nothing he can do about it. Down barrel might be spotted. He still hasn't seen it, but he's got the first shot. Flames trying to trade, but he can't find it. And now NQZ has a real opportunity. Molly into CT won't be too helpful. He'll fake it. He'll realize no one's peaked yet, so Neofrag might be the other side. NQZ with a great read on the situation. He keeps his team in it. Absolutely unbelievable. They can't be expecting this jiggling though. Oh, that's such a risky good play. Through the smoke they go and he drills two of them. Lasso here for support. Rotates at the perfect time. Yes, for saving. You get punished for not going for the round win. So yes, you save some guns, but you don't have money. Nico out mid early. Damage done to two T's, wow. but the opener was found through the smoke. That is utterly crazy, crazy, but Fiku has been dropped and we see that aggressive presence around long A once again. Cold Zero, gonna drop a smoke. Speaking of, did Nika get a sound cue there from next maybe? Behind this smoke. This is a very awkward hold for Zero Zero Nation. And we can see there are gaps in the defenses. Smoked off, they can't see CT spawn at all. There's such a giant hole here. Next, that, oh my god, that timing could have been a catastrophe. That's going to pull rotation back towards that position, though. And now Donut's open, but NQZ is on the way. Flames has made his way through. Cold Zero at the front. NQZ at the back. Down he goes. He has to have an idea of where Cold Zero is. A very funky round indeed. Only two plays remaining for OG. Cold Zero jiggling. So long has been compromised. OG have got to take the fight to Zero Zero Nation, surely, with all the angles they'll have otherwise. Oh, they're lining oh. up. That could have been two. Next down to two HP. I don't think he realizes there's one more guy there. This is really going down to the wire. Now it's called Zero in the clutch. They know he was on long. One versus two. He doesn't have a kit. 
Trying to bait out the second play. There he is. Flames now. 55 HP. Going wide. But he can't do it. Cold Zero's clutched it again. It'll be a quick third man here in Lato. 30 seconds on the clock now. They've got so much to clear out on the site itself. NQZ's got a lot of information and a very strong angle. Neofrag forcing his way in. Cold Zero has to clutch once again. The 180 is here. Nico, 6 HP, 1 versus 2. Eating flashes for days. 10 seconds to find two players. There's no way he gets a bomb plant here. Drawing Cold Zero out. Four seconds. He's got to find the kill, but he's going the wrong way. The clutch is on the A-bomb site. Oh, my. The aggression. No way. No way. The time is crazy. They'll be happy with that. Able to disengage as well. You can chase them, but you're chasing into an AWP. And then there was one. Beautiful from Zero Zero Nation. Love the proactive plays once again on their CT side. Catching OG lining grenades up to the victor, the spoils. What is there for Flames to do at this point? Wait in mid to die. First round goes the way of Zero Zero Nation then. Now the commitment comes in. In they go. Big flash, but not a big jewel. All right, then. Numbers advantage now as we find big frags on the B bomb side. We've got frags all over the shop now. NQZ, the last one standing. Someone's got to plant that bomb, though. And plant it quick. There we go. NQZ in the clutch. 1v3 made two, and he's going for it. He's got a kid oh. as well. Misses the jump, though. Parkour minus points, and that'll be a free frag for Fiku on that rotation. These plays as well. We see Lato. With an off angle compared to what we've seen before. NQZ will still have to be careful though. Look at that angle from Lato. Traded Ooh. by Flames though. And that draws the attention. And maybe the ire of NQZ. Cold Zero lost on the A-bomb site. But we still have Dumal in the donut position. Next up. He's going to lose his angle. Or will he? Never mind. Indeed the bomb might be seized by next. Depending on his route. This could be awkward. Where's NQZ going with DWP? Oh my days. He's, he's going the straight bomb. for the bomb and <laughs> he he's found it. it. 40 seconds on the clock and he's got to go quick scope. He can't reveal it. Oh, he's scoped in and Fiku's got an angle. This is chaos. Next here oh. as well. And he's got to go for this fight. He has to chase this fight. Fiku has lost the bomb. It's a recovery mission now. Next sticks around, another fight won by Next, but Flames... And they will continue to press on. Dumao now finds himself nice. in a very awkward situation. Three plays remain then for this T-side as they find a frag on that B-bomb side. Nico dropped, Dexter's behind the smoke. Oh. There is a gap, however. Indeed, that is a hideous smoke. Lots of opportunity awaits if Lato takes a bad position. Here's the Molly coming though and has to move elsewhere. Three on three, retake territory for OG to try and find another game point if they can be successful here. Every if smoke's got a gap in it now. <laughs> Finally one lands onto Cave. It is this 3v3 post plant you were talking about. Are oh, they gonna try and boost over towards Ram? Maybe they don't need it. Lato fighting ahead of the smoke. Dexter gets one back, but look at Cold Zera straight through the oh, smoke. No, he doesn't see what we see. Yeah, that's the common angle to pre -aid. Sometimes even pre-fire. Look at the damage. NQZ dishing out the damage, but Flames comes right back. 3v3, but that A site is completely open. Might not matter though, because Dexter gets a kill elsewhere, and they've still got the man advantage for the retake. They are taking their time though. Fiku starting to poke in. The urgency is rising. Fiku lost. Next spotted. Just trying to stay alive now. The smoke will certainly help him. Try to buy time. Flames man on the bomb. Going for the straight defuse. They don't fake. That's what they say. Game point. The lurk is so far back. One minute will feel like an eternity for Zero Nation who starts Ooh. to head the other way. He sees so many targets, Dexter. But he can't fire off another shot. Zero Nation know they've been seen. Oh boy. That is a hell of a timing here. And it seems that we might not be done with this one just yet. Easy to use it. Flash up high. Player on the site. Deals with the first. And Neofrag cannot transfer. How important this position is as Nico doesn't want to be dropped early. 
Look at this charge though into the B bomb side. There you go. Lining up nicely for Fiku. Finds two and a third. Smoke on his right hand side so he can focus on the ramp. Then there was next. 1v5. Makes the shot from Dexter at the very least, but in that mid position, trying to cut off that rotation. They need to find success in the first place. 38 seconds, that clock is running down. And there's a lot of utility for OG. They've got more smokes to deploy. That Zero Nation are going to have to stand and face. We can see Next trying to pull players away now. But as he shows presence around Donut, there are still grenades coming in. Cold Zero goes down. And they're unable to respond to that tight shot from Nico again. That will be a cosmetic frag elsewhere. As this round will go the way of OG. Well, this is now 10 game points in total for OG. And Flames, aggressive early. No time to waste. They're committing to this A site. Swing and a miss with the AWP. And this could be, should be, the end of the line on Ancient, finally. OG having to do it the long way. But with the lead they had, I think the important thing for them is that they did it. One versus five for next bomb planted. He has the kit. He's got one frag, but not the second one. They got there in the end then, OG. A lot of mishaps, a lot of big clutches from Zero Zero Nation in normal time.